Chiropractic Clinic, and thanks for tuning in for another one of our weekly video blogs. This week's topic is the sacroiliac joint. We have our model spine here, and as we look at the spine, the pelvis and spine are facing me. This is the back side here. Here we're looking at the pelvis. In the pelvis, you have three bones. You have your left ilium, you have your sacrum, which is your tailbone, and you have your right ilium. Uh, and the sacroiliac joints are the two joints, uh, one right here and one right here. Uh, this is where the ilium meets the sacrum on the left side, and here's where the ilium meets the sacrum on the right side. These are two large joints. They are a common source of lower back pain. There's such a misconception. Patients come in and say, you know, my lumbar hurts, or they'll say I have sciatica, and when in fact it, it, it's actually a sacroiliac joint problem. Now the sacroiliac joints, they are a component of the lower back. Uh, but they, you know, they, again, they are actually a part of the pelvis, uh, and it's a very common source of back pain. Uh, one thing I've talked about previously is, you know, pelvic unleveling. Uh, patients get a misaligned pelvis; they get a tilted, rotated pelvis, uh, and that will create a lot of shearing between the ilium and the sacrum in the sacroiliac joint. Um, so, a lot of times, you know, your your glutes surround the pelvis. Uh, so, a lot of times, when when you know a patient has pain going down into their glute muscle. They're saying, oh, I have, you know, I have sciatica, which, yes, it could be sciatica, but a lot of times it's sacroiliac joint pain. When you have a sacroiliac joint that's fired up, it's going to cause a lot of uh, inflammation and tension in the glute muscle surrounding it, uh, and, it's, and it'll create that pain down into the glute. So a uh, very common source of pain. Uh, you know, one other thing I want to uh, talk about, these sacroiliac joints, a lot of people often refer to them as their hips. Um, and so I just want to point out that, uh, it can be confusing, but you know, for a chiropractor, when someone comes in, they talk about their hips. I'm thinking about their actual hip joints here, uh, where your femur inserts into. Um, but again, a lot of people refer to their SI joints as hip pain. So that's one thing as a chiropractor, I always clarify with patients: is you know, are you talking about your actual hip joint, or are you talking about the sacroiliac joint? Uh, and a lot of times, people are talking about their sacroiliac joint. So you know, your hips. You know, when you face the spine towards the camera here. Uh, you know your leg, your leg bone, your thigh bone, your femur comes up and it's, it inserts into the acetabulum here on the right side and the left side. Those are your hip joints. So uh, you know, a lot of people do get hip pain, but again, that pain's you know coming within this area and here. If you're getting pain in the back here near your tailbone, again, those are not your hips. Those are sacroiliac joints. So if you want to sound really smart, uh, you can tell your friend that you're having sacroiliac joint pain uh, instead of saying back pain or hip pain. Um, but no, you know, real honestly, you should go in, you know, uh, you know, you can come see me, go see your chiropractor uh, to get a proper diagnosis because, again, uh, it's not for certain that that's what you're having. Uh, you know, you could be having uh, a lumbar nerve root problem that's referring down the sciatic nerve. Uh, that could be your problem. Um, you know, you could be having a glute or a piriformis muscle issue, uh, but oftentimes it is the sacroiliac joint uh, that is the source of, of pain for your lower back. And so, Usually, again, that is caused from pelvic unleveling, pelvic misalignment. It creates a lot of shearing in those sacroiliac joints between your sacrum and your ilium, again, your tailbone and your pelvic bone on either the left or the right side, or sometimes both. So a lot of pelvic uh, instability will cause these problems. And, and, and honestly, uh, a high percentage of patients have pelvic unleveling. They have uh, sacroiliac uh, subluxation. So very common. Get it checked out. It's very treatable. Um, thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of the week.